So let's talk about an info leak in Apple's Wi-Fi drivers. So their operating systems, meaning macOS, iOS, iPadOS, support Wi-Fi via what are called version 1 and version 2 kernel driver families. And I'll show some names here in a second. It's worth noting that the version 2 added new functionality, which of course means new attack surfaces, but they also rewrote some code from version 1. And if you go read this citation for this vulnerability, you will see an example of an out-of-bound write vulnerability in kernel space that was reintroduced when rewriting v1 functionality for v2. So actually, like there was a vulnerability found in 2007, Apple closed it, and then they reintroduced it when they rewrote the version 1 for version 2. And that again just goes to the fact that if people don't know to program paranoid, then whenever they're rewriting code, they will be reintroducing vulnerabilities. So just by way of example, the V1 stuff is named like IO802.11 family, and then you had specific plugin drivers that had to do with particular, uh, for instance, Broadcom NIC functionality, NIC network interface card, Broadcom 4360, 4331, those being models of Broadcom chips for Wi-Fi. And then the V2, similar thing, but then uh, it's, it's IO802.11 family V2, and then you've got things like BCM Broadcom, WLAN Core, replacing the various things, but it still handles individual firmwares that are handed off to the Broadcom uh, individual chips. So this is going to be a relatively simple example, hopefully, but I wanted to make it more complicated, and uh, I'm hoping that in the future the researcher will hand me some more pseudocode, but for now, assuming you're seeing this version, I didn't get the pseudocode, so here is your quest. Find the flaw in these code. I want you to just, you know, stop, pause, take a look at these uh, because I'm not going to have the screenshot on the website. Take a look at these functions and basically understand what's going on and understand how you could potentially cause an info leak. So this pseudocode right here is from some particular, you know, Apple, BCM, Broadcom, WLAN, bus interface, PCIe, load chip image. This one's from handle firmware trap, and this one's from copy trap info blob. So the basic idea here is that this function is called first, and it does allocation of some trap info buffer. This function does initialization of that buffer, and this function ultimately copies data back out from that buffer and that has been initialized in this step. So what I want you to know is that this output buffer, assume that through hook or crook that will eventually make its way back to user space and then I want you to figure out assuming as we've seen with other kernel vulnerabilities that opportunities for parallelism and race conditions exist what could go wrong here that would lead to an info leak vulnerability all right pause take a look and find the flaw